Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Today, talking about mortgage forbearance in the wake of COVID. Today, sharing some information that we've learned about uh, mortgage forbearance and my experience from this from 2008, 2009, 2010. Uh, so today, obviously, there's a lot of conversations about both people being laid off, furloughed, and not having enough money to pay their mortgage and looking at options. So one of those options is mortgage forbearance. And many of the banks have agreed that they will uh, cooperate with mortgage forbearance. And what does this mean for you? Well, what it means for you is typically a period of time where you don't need to make any payments. Now, with that being said, it does not mean that you're not gonna owe that money. You will still have to make payments on that money. So if you have the ability to pay your mortgage, do do so. Because what happens in many cases is they move that those couple of months of mortgage payment to the end. So ultimately you still owe that money, you still owe that interest. Uh, and if you have the ability to pay, you should do so uh, because you're gonna pay more on that interest in the long run if you don't make that payment today. But obviously there are cases where people can't make that payment. So if that's the case, you wanna reach out to your mortgage servicer and talk to them about your options. Now, obviously, if this is a permanent thing, you don't see yourself getting back on your feet anytime soon, uh, and you feel like you're gonna fall really far behind, call me and let's talk about your options. Many people have a lot of equity in their homes right now, and so it's very possible to look at alternative options, whether it's selling, or um, whether it is uh, renting out the property, we can look at all of those options for you. And that brings me to my next point as far as renting out properties. There has been a lot of information out there about rentals and renters if you can't pay the mortgage as well. Now, some of you own investment property or maybe some of you are renting yourselves. So in this particular case, again, the same principle applies. If you can make the payment, make the payment because it's not going to just magically go away. Now, there may be some landlords out there that are really nice that may give you a month free or something like that, but it must be arranged in advance. So if they're in a position where they can offer that to you, great. Um, but in many cases, the landlords who own those property either need that money to pay the mortgage that they have or they need that money to pay their monthly living expenses. So if you're unable to pay a rent, or if you have tenants who are unable to pay a rent, then typically speaking, those payments must be repaid within the next six months. So again, if you can pay that, go ahead and pay it because it will have to be repaid at some point. Now, if you're a landlord and your tenants aren't paying the rent, again, work with them see what you can come up with to make those payments. Now, if you are using that uh, payment to pay your mortgage and you can't pay your mortgage because you're not getting any rents, again, same rules apply. Call the mortgage servicer, talk to them, explain what's going on. They know that a lot of people are going through a similar situation and they are willing to work with you as well. And again, if the tenant is going to be able to repay that once they go back to work, once unemployment starts, things like that, get creative, come up with a solution that will work for everybody. If you have any questions about the logistics of this, how you can make this work, you can certainly reach out to me. My number is 562-316-2915 and melinda at theelmerteam.com. Please thank you for watching and please feel free to forward and share this with your friends and stay safe out there.